I'm Tanya Lyon for the Orange County Register, filling in for Rob Whitfield, and this is OCN2. In Tustin, police arrested two men in connection with a marijuana growing operation on Wednesday. Tustin police received an anonymous tip alerting them to a house on First Street that was said to be growing and selling the drug. When officers arrived to investigate, they discovered a sophisticated marijuana growing system, including more than 300 plants, lighting, water, and a climate control system. Officers also found several assault rifles, handguns, and what they believed to be a pipe bomb. Both men were booked at Orange County Jail on marijuana cultivation and weapons charges. He was supposed to begin his prison term today, but former Sheriff Mike Corona will remain free until an appeals court says otherwise. Corona was convicted of witness tampering back in April and sentenced to 66 months in federal prison. The former lawman filed an appeal in June to the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, asking the court to overturn a mandate that he start his prison term this month. Corona asked to remain free on bond until the same court weighs the appeals of his case and conviction. The court has yet to issue a ruling, meaning that Corona remains free for now. If the conviction is overturned, it will mean that Corona won't be forced to spend even a day behind bars. But if the court denies his motion to remain free, Corona will have to turn himself in to federal custody on a date to be determined by the court. A father who died in a community pool on Monday was not a good swimmer and drowned after apparently drifting toward the deep end while playing with his daughter, according to a neighbor. Mitzi Inman says she saw 33-year-old Benayak Batakaria playing with his 5-year-old daughter while at a community pool in Mission Viejo. Batakaria was submerging himself in the water, pretending to drown before popping out to surprise his daughter. Inman left the pool area with one of her children for five minutes that day and returned to find Batakaria at the bottom of the pool and not moving. Inman and other neighbors performed CPR but were unable to revive Batakaria. Surf forecasters and lifeguards are warning beachgoers who are headed to the coast to be aware of a massive swell that will slam into our shores this weekend. Their concerns? Big surf that will beat up swimmers and surfers, rip currents that will suck people out to sea, massive waves that could knock people off rocks, and high tides that may cause flooding to coastal homes. The swell should ease slightly on Sunday before dropping off rapidly throughout the week. Lifeguards warn not to swim past your abilities and always check with a lifeguard before going into the water. For more on these stories and for breaking news all day long, log on to OCRegister.com.